here with a new paint and talk. This time I will cover a topic that is quite different than what I'm used to cover. I'm going to talk a little bit about what works and what does not work in YouTube and it's uh, mainly um, just to share a little bit my experience uh, about YouTube and how my canal works. And to be fair, uh, it's very difficult to know what works and what does not work in YouTube. You can have idea, but to be fair, until you don't put the video out there, you don't know if it works or will not work. So what I mean here is sometimes I do a video that I think it will do quite good. Okay, I put a lot of effort, I do the video, I put it there, and it's a flop. So no, nothing happens with a video. There's, you have some views, not too much, and it's forgotten in the YouTube realm. Other times, I do a video just because I wanted or I was and, and thinking, okay, this will be one of these videos uh, just to spend to to, the, to spend some time and do something different, thinking that it's not going to be very successful, and boom, this video it's doing well. So yeah, I know more or less what type of videos are the most viewed in my channel. I use a lot of analytics, and then I see that and the the tutorials are normally the the videos that the the watch over time are the most watched videos over time, right? And but for example, the most viewed video in my channel was one that was not really successful when I launched it. That was to talk was a video about talking all the armies, okay, all the 40k armies. I'm just looking now. Uh, to, to share with you what was exactly the date when it was launched but was a video that I did, I think it was 2013-2014 about the 40k armies and then I went army by army, it was quite a long video and I went army by army explaining each of them so trying to put some pictures, was a, almost a po I think if I'm not wrong, was a PowerPoint presentation where I was explaining uh, the videos and this video, I don't know why, is the most successful. And the curiosity thing is that when I put this video out there, it was not very successful, so the number of views was pretty low. But yeah, over time, it's the most be most be video, most viewed video in my channel. Uh, but then the next ones are uh, is a tutorial. So the next one is the tutorial where I talk about thinning my thinning paints, okay? And the next one is one that I also I, I did and was not expecting too much about about it, right? It was uh, a challenge that I was participating in that was called the budget of Sigma, okay? It was when um, Edge of Sigma was launched and when the project was finished was to try to make an army expending uh, a very little amount every month okay it was for uh, the the challenge was lasting six months so i did an effort try to spend us uh, to tight uh, to a tight budget and how you can really with not too much budget i paint my son castellanos army in in six months okay at least the core of my army now i have put some more miniatures as you can see i keep growing the army now because you see them painting now this Ballista crew. So, but for me, the, the interesting thing here is, yeah, why this army showcase? Because at the end was an army showcase where I was show explaining how I collect the army and I was putting some, uh, some pictures of the army. Why this showcase is so successful? And then you think, okay, the people is interested in, in seeing videos of arm painty armies and you do another one and it's not successful at all okay uh, the tutorials are, are that are more impactful are how to paint the celestial prime how to paint robot gilliman how to paint magnus the red how to paint the star Drake. so it seems that these videos where i'm painting big miniatures are really uh, pulling um, views i was surprised for example when the how to paint a black legion um, warlord was quite successful so uh, it's 
Uh, and then one bit that is uh, surprising me uh, that is very successful is uh, why uh, the, the when I was reviewing the it was called the Night Hound, the, the one of the technical paints that they launched with the uh, Night Hound army. Okay, so what I mean here is. Yeah, I have an idea what works what, and what doesn't work, but to be fair, until you don't put it all there, it's very difficult to understand how all this works, how these algorithms of uh, YouTube are working, and what the audience is scoring better or worse. Sometimes you put and and yeah, and this can be quite confusing, okay? But I have to say that the thing that keeps myself putting videos out there are the comments and the feedback from the people okay knowing that some people and uh, are enjoying my videos knowing that some people is uh, likes to see these videos even if you just give the like it's something that really motivates you to keep putting videos out there so one thing I may ask to the people that is watching these videos please it's not uh, it's very motivating to see the people is watching the video and is interacting with you. It's why you, I put these videos up there. It's more to interact with the people. There is not any other reason. And to try to share with you my little knowledge about painting miniatures, about the hobby, and about the gaming, right? It's just to put some entertainment. But uh, yeah, I know that my videos are not high quality in terms of edit, uh, editing. But my intention is more to share thoughts to share techniques, to share how I approach the, the hobby more than putting an uh, extremely good audiovisual content. Okay. So, uh, if you just can spend a second to click the button, I don't ask you to comment in all my videos. This will be the, great, uh, the greatest thing that can happen, but just if you can spend a little time clicking the like button it's something and I, I do that in all the channels that I try to watch because it looks it's very little effort but helps it people to keep motivated and to keep working to go off the channel right uh, it's yeah no, the humans when we are doing projects or when we're doing this type of things normally we need some feedback and it's also happening in in real life, right? In our day-to-day uh, -day jobs, you like to have some feedback, some recognition from time to time. And the way you can get the best recognition in YouTube is by the likes and by the comments and by the feedback from the people. Okay? So this is why I also wanted to make this video just not for me only, for all, if you follow any video content out there, give your, your opinion from time to time and give feedback because it's really... Yeah, very appreciated by the content producers and yeah and also if something is liking and because you don't know why some videos have more views than the others you think that is because it's better because it's more interesting and sometimes maybe it's because it's lag or because you just put a topic that not too much people uh, is interested or because of the trends of the moment right so I, I see now for example people is watching more my uh, Jenny Stiller cult tutorials and videos that I put a while ago. Why? Because now Jenny Stiller cult has been launched. Okay, there are some videos that always survive, that always have views, but some videos that suddenly they pop up. And then you realize, yeah, it's because of the moment. Okay, because it's the trendy topic of this moment. So, yeah. Uh, what I want to say here is it's very difficult for the content producers to know what works and what what does not work uh, normally you try random things you try to do the best that you can but for me the most important thing more than having a lot of views is to do content that is interesting for the people that is following this channel so if you leave the feedback and you let me know it's going to be easier for me to make content that is interesting for you and in something it's, you think it's not worth it to do it I'm also, I'm not, I'm okay if you can share it, and uh, maybe you're not interested, because in that way I can balance if some topics are not uh, interesting, are interesting or not, right, to the people. And yeah, and this is just, uh, I just wanted to have this chat, 
just to share with you some of my thoughts. I was thinking about that uh, quite a lot. Uh, I, I and as I said, I like to do this this the, the YouTube analytics and other analytics that they have. Mm -hmm. Try to understand how that works. And yeah, before launching a video, I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. For example, another example here. The the battle reports they used to have at the beginning more views, and what is curious is that the country that happened with the tutorial, the tutorial have views even two years later or three years later, right? They still have views. The battle reports only have views maybe the first year, the first month that you put this video out there. So there's one month, most of the water battle reports you put out there. They are not watch anymore, or they are very little watch, right? Uh, from time to time, you have some that I don't know why it it's watch more, and then it's watch for uh, six months, for example. Uh, but then you think, okay, but I know that they have some solid views at the beginning, right? So I was thinking, okay, let's do, let's try to put some more battle reports. What happened with the last the last three battle reports that they put out there? They had doing very uh, much lower than what they have done the battle reports they put end of the previous year so yeah these are the curious things i just wanted to share with you uh, and yeah i'm although they told they told you about being uh, how is it, consistent try to put content regular in a regular basis try to keep some schedule to be fair I don't know exactly what makes this work, what makes something work and something does, uh, not to work. So yeah, if you have more clues out there or you have anything that you would like to share with me, I'm here to listen to you. I will really appreciate any feedback. And as I said, please, if you follow someone, and not only it's not only for me, if you follow any, any content producer, please, please, please give a like Comment if you can comment, but at least give a like. And if there is, uh, you know, people that can enjoy it, share it. Because we are very small compared to the big pool of YouTube. And it's very difficult for uh, hobby channels to reach other people. So that's all for now. I hope you have liked uh, this chat. Sorry if it was not that interesting this time and was not about the hobby. But I just wanted to do uh, to do a share about uh, our opinion and share with you my experience uh, in YouTube. So that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.